Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem where the question is d square minus 5d plus 6 into y equal to x square plus 3. As a first part, we have to write the auxiliary equation which is m square minus 5m plus 6 equal to 0. On factorizing, we get m minus 3 into m minus 2 equal to 0. From this, we get two values for m. Both are real values and they are different values. So, complementary function is c1 e power 3x plus c2 e power 2x. Now, coming to the particular integral, we have algebraic expression x square plus 3. And in the denominator, we have to write d square minus 5d plus 6. Now, as per the procedure, we have to take 6 common in the denominator because we need 1. So, 6 into bracket open. This will become d square minus 5d by 6. Then this will become plus 1. Now, I will rewrite this as first term 1 then we have d square minus 5d by 6 let's carry this entire term to the numerator so 1 by 6 we'll keep it here and this will become 1 plus d square minus 5d by 6 whole power minus 1 and the remaining algebraic expression x square plus 3. Here we are going to use the expansion 1 plus x whole power minus 1 which is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus dot dot dot. Here this entire term is treated as x. Now we have 1 by 6 bracket open 1 minus x it means minus of d square minus 5d by 6 then plus x square that will give us d square minus 5d by 6 whole square and higher powers we can ignore then bracket close into x square plus 3 because d stands for differentiation and we have x square here. Only two times we can differentiate. That is, except d square, all the other higher power we can ignore. So now it is going to be 1 by 6, 1 minus. This is d square by 6. When I take the minus sign inside, it becomes plus 5d by 6. Then coming to the next term, it is of the form a minus b whole square. So a square minus 2ab and b square plus 25 into d square. Now divided by 6 that will become divided by 36. So divided by 36 in each case. So this 5d we can keep it in a bracket divided by 36. Then all the other powers we did not write into x square plus 3. Once again, till d square we will keep. Rest of the terms we will ignore. So this is constant. Then d square by 6, this is ok. 5d by 6 is ok. And this one, d power 4, we don't want this d cube, this also we don't want. In the last term, plus 25 d square by 36. Then apart from this, all the other terms we ignored because its differentiation will become 0. Now, this x square I will multiply with everything. So, 1 by 6. So, 1 into x square minus d square. If I differentiate x square twice, so 2x then 2. So, it becomes 2 by 6. Then, when I multiply x square here, it will become 5 by 6 into differentiation of x square is 2x. Then when I multiply here, 
it will be 25 by 36. One time differentiation will give 2x, two time differentiation will give 2. Then 3 if I multiply with the first term, it will become plus 3. Then apart from that, 3 if I differentiate twice or once or twice, it will going to be 0. So no need to write that. So totally, we have to group the similar terms. So this is x square term. And this is only x term. So after cancelling this, we get plus 5x by 3. Then the constants minus after cancelling this 1 by 3 and after cancelling this plus 25 by 18 plus 3 the last term. So we have to simplify the numbers x square plus 5x by 3. Let's take LCM. LCM is going to be 18. So here it will become minus 6 plus 25 plus 18 into 3. 24. So 54. So finally we get 1 by 6 x square plus 5x by 3 and this is 73 by 18. So we have to combine CF and PI for the complete solution. So y is equal to c1 e power 3x plus c2 e power 2x. Then PI is 1 by 6 bracket open x square plus 5x by 3 plus 73 by 18.